All right, so uh, on this part of the video, um, I'm here to just ask you, what are you drinking, by the way? I'm, gonna well I'm drinking uh, Ba'ai. Okay, cool. So our, our question is, so Mike Rhodes basically became a millionaire at the age of 25, and um, he's now worth multiple millions of dollars. And uh, what we wanted to talk about is how the self-help, He obviously you wanted to get into self-help and like how you want to help other people and how it helped you as well. Yeah, so... Um, I went to Choice Center at a very trying time in my business. It was uh, uh, late 2015. The energy markets had just crashed and the commodity markets had also crashed. And um, I had uh, a customer who was a blood relative of mine default on a lot of fuel and the bill ended up becoming $517,000. And uh, I almost went bankrupt because of it. Um, and I really had to work hard to stay afloat and move money around to keep afloat with such a massive amount just gone, just taken from me. Um, and that was around the same time that I went to uh, Choice Center. And um, it came at the perfect time in my life for me to take it in with the most gratitude and most conviction to go forward with it. And it really, uh, uh, you know, helped me come out of what could be a bankrupt situation for a lot of people come out on top and just work so hard, so diligently that I was not about to let myself go bankrupt. I just got more customers. I started selling a lot more, I started working a lot more hours um, in my business and, um, and the self-help, a lot of what Choice Center does is a lot of responsibility. They have a saying there that I am 100% responsible 100% of the time. And that is, that should be every business owner's motto. If see, I see that wrong, though. I, I just want to bring this up, man. And people that are not successful, because like I said, I, I, I do have a network of successful entrepreneurs as yourself. And yep. uh, I do want to state this, that you're not the only person I know that became a millionaire at the age of 25. But like I said, I don't have that many friends, but you obviously what I've noticed is it's the same with you. And a lot of people that did become a millionaire by the age of 25 is mm -hmm. they never blame it on other people. Like I've never ever seen them. they they always whenever there's a problem they 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 don't focus on things they don't control. They focus on themselves and what they can do to make the situation better. And maybe you can kind of elaborate about that cuz I see that I would. I'm I'm glad you uh, opened the space for that cuz I actually want to expand on it. Okay, please do. Please not, do. Not only that, but I have to actively take responsibility for my employees actions or for my own actions especially. Um, that may have cost me money um, or work may have cost me a little bit of integrity. So in my company, I have a couple you know, situations. I have situations all the time. But when your customer knows that you're coming from 100% responsibility or 100% honesty every time, um, they become customers for life. For life. I have customers who will probably buy fuel from me for the next 30 years um, so long as I keep being fully responsible for them. I had one customer who had been basically raided by the fire department here in Clark County. Um, and so they were, you know, a little spooked and freaked out about it. And I said, listen, this is 100% my responsibility. I will handle every item that they wrote you up for and I will correct it. And I ended up spending about $5,000 correcting all those items. But uh, um, I made the customer really happy, really have a good, warm, fuzzy feeling that they're in good hands, and that's the best marketing that you can have. That's yeah. the best way to keep business, and you can really grow when you maintain business and you're constantly finding more, but if you lose what you brought in, what's it worth now? Nothing, right? Yeah, and I was going to actually bring this up, maybe you can elaborate, is Jeff Bezos really talks about this, so that's, I think, a great aspect you brought up is you know you really do have to keep the customer happy and uh, mm -hmm. I think that's one reason why Amazon is the number one company or one of the number one companies they're obsessed with giving driving value to the customer of course they are and and that's what made them so successful same with Walmart at Walmart who's number one the customer that's literally their motto they recite that at their uh, corporate meetings which are thousands of people by the way if you haven't seen a Walmart uh, corporate meeting, they are stadiums full of people. It's impressive. Yeah. Well, and, you know, those are both companies that became the biggest companies in the world that are putting the customer first. 
Apple, very much the same thing. Apple is all about the customer's experience for the next several years that they have this product. And so there's this constant theme that is just too obvious to ignore that when you have happy customers, you have happy employees. And when you have happy employees, you have a happy bank account. Hmm, that's so true. And so yeah. there's another video I want to create, uh, and we'll make this our next video, but let's just talk about that transition. So obviously your gas station, you, you sold and you made a big mm -hmm. profit. So let's talk about that. So you obviously get the capital, you become a millionaire at 25. Um, mm -hmm. Let's talk about the, like the last two, three years of your life and how you took that million and you turned it into multiple millions of dollars. Uh, and we'll talk about it in the next video, if that's okay with you. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, perfect.